Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition of Star Citizen. So today I've decided to give you a brief look at the Drake Herald. Now, uh, if you are not familiar, the Drake Herald, um, obviously built by Drake Interplanetary, is specifically a info runner. Now, at this exact point in time, uh, the role of info runner <clears throat> really doesn't have much of a description. Um, it's just kind of what we are alluding from the terms info runner. Um, but it seems like it's going to be uh, good for either um, encrypting or intercepting communications. Um, being able to move, let's say, like mission sensitive information, classified information, uh, data uh, like that. Um, they have these really interesting data pods that are on the obviously the exterior of the ship, and it looks like they just drop right out. So, I guess if you had some, you know, sensitive or um, illegal information, you'd be able to jettison it and try to escape. Now one of the more uh, prominent features of the Drake Herald are its batshit crazy big thrusters. I mean, look at that. For the size of these damn things, I mean, this you, it goes so fast, you know, like you would think you'd start seeing these panels rip off of them. Uh, one of the other really neat things is that little uh, almost triangular, I know it's got more than three, but that um, polygon there, um, that pulls out and there's like this really neat satellite array. Well, you know what? I'll show it to you in a moment. Oh, it's on the other side. Um, so by default, the Herald has two size one slots on the wings, well, if you want to call them wings, those little niblets that are popping out the side there. Uh, there's two of these little niblets, uh, both having a size one. I've put bulldogs on them, uh, where I believe the, uh, let me see if I can find what weapon it is. So I have an app that is supposed to outline all the information of these ships, and unfortunately, it does not appear to be updated. So while that's loading, um, it also has a front size 3 mount which I've gone ahead and put a gimbal on and through a badger. Uh, reason being um, I'm out of Panthers. <laughs> if I had more, actually you know let me check. Let me, let me see. I might have a Panther because I know that I was doing I was doing some weird stuff with my loadouts and shuffling weapons around so it's very possible it's very possible. Oh, why did I close that? It's very possible that I might have a panther. I hope I do. I've got three. Ooh, all right, panther. Now the reason why I put the wow, that's big. Now the re that's what she said, giggity. Okay, <laughs> so the reason I put the size three on there uh, is for the maximum damage output, and then in conjunction uh, with the two smaller, if you remember, uh, having a couple of these extra ones with one big one tends to have some pretty decent DPS. Um, Alright, so enough of me wandering around outside like like a, a lost crazy person. Let's go in. So the way you enter the ship, and the only way to enter the ship, is through this side door. And I'll tell you, the interior is awesome. I mean this, I really, really like the way this looks. You know, it's got a really low... Um, you know, it's not spiffy. It's very utilitarian. It's very, I'm here to do a job and just a job and not, you know, look um, prissy while doing it. And one of the really cool views, I mean, just look at that. The cockpit seat and the way leading up to it, that is so cool. I really dig this, like, paneling or lack thereof. Um, I think the color scheme is spot on. 
And you have these panels, which I'm sure once the repair mechanic goes in, that you'll be able to open up and do some in-flight maintenance. But I mean, just look at these textures. Uh, you also got a gun rack here, which that is actually amazing. Uh, more ships need that. Um, now you've got the um, one of the avionics uh, computers here. Um, and then we've got a bunch of what look to be server racks. Uh, there's about three or four in here, if I'm not mistaken. Then you have some more of these panels. Looks like it's for storage, whatever. Not quite sure what you'd be able to store in there. Oh, it says right on it. We can hold about 0.24 SCU. That's cool. That must be new. I wonder if that actually is attributed for um, cargo. If you can actually store things in there. That would be so freaking neat. I didn't know that that was even there. Uh, again, so we got the servers over here. Got a restroom, which you'll definitely need, especially when you've got engines, the, the thrusters, the, the size of ships just strapped onto your ship. Got the uh, first aid kit. Got a nice little bunk bed here. Actually, is that a bunk bed? I don't even think it's a bunk bed. I think it's a singular. Yeah, it's singular. I take it back. Um, and again, I really dig this look. I mean, look at that, huh? Let me go a little slower. This is a beautiful ship on the inside. So I think this is going to be for the panels. Um, and then there's a mysterious open button back here. I'm not going to press it just yet, as you're not going to really. Oh, actually, you know, just for the ha-has. And look, oh, why did we just tip forward? Um, so then you've also got this support seat here. Um, I can only imagine that this support seat is going to be controlling the um, encryption and data manipulation. Um, well, the data manipulation. So we get into the pilot seat, hop on in, and I really like this. It seems like they actually took, <coughs> excuse me, this panel and used this for the new Drake uh, Cutlass Black. Whoa! Turning sideways. Landing request approved. Landing gear up. Gear up. Really? Gear up. Landing Understood. Gear up. Landing gear down. Landing request approved. Gear up. Understood. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. So. Now. All right. So, um, regular top speed is about 185. That's not really much to write. Whoa! Look at the size of the thrusters. Not really a whole lot to write home about. Um, this is a nice ship, though. I must say, I am actually pleasantly surprised with um, this ship. Just especially how fast it is. Um, I know that the 185 like I just stated, isn't much to write home about, but once you uh, engage the afterburners, 850. So, I actually am going to have to take back what I said in my previous video uh, about the impromptu, uh, well, Easter eggs in a grim impromptu visit. The Herald is the fastest ship in-game currently. For, if you recall, the 350R was going 810, where the Herald, as you can plainly see, is going 850 meters a second. That is insane. But again, with the size of the thrusters that are strapped to this baby, I would expect nothing the last fact, In fact, I'd expect it to go a bit faster, if I can be honest. So, as we're... Actually, wait, let me, let me cancel that first. Let me show you what that magical, mystical button did. So, let's jump back out the cockpit. Mosey on over here. And engage. Now, hop Drives back into the... Engaging. Thank you. You're welcome. So, as we hop on... Now, <coughs> the, quote, satellites and what look to be solar panels um, are now extended. So, 
with these, I am uh, guessing, you'll be able to either intercept or transmit uh, varying levels and types of data and information. Um, I'm really hoping that info running becomes a, a bigger, more widely used, more important mechanic because information and strategy is what wins wars. So let's jump over to 126 and do a quick battle test. Now I have to admit for how it looks this thing does not have very much armor. Um, you gotta keep in mind you are basically just strapped to a giant thruster so I can kinda see the rationale. But I wish, that, uh, speaking of a 350R, um, I wish this had a little bit more uh, uh, ability to reduce and absorb damage. It really feels kind of handicapped, given the fact. Um, it's also only got uh, a few size 1 missiles on it, so you're, you're really going to be more of an annoyance uh, than a capable fighter. So if you were looking at this and were wanting to add this to your fleet as a fighter, I would actually highly suggest against that. Uh, this thing, for having the type of um, uh, thrust, look I'm already in uh, orange, front shields. Front shield. Reinforcing requested shields. So, um, like I was saying, this thing is not very maneuverable for having such a large uh, thruster on it. In fact, for a, such a large pair of thrusters, um, as you can see, I am I am turning very slowly, moving very slowly, and um, you know that in a straight line. I don't think anything can keep, uh, can keep up with it, but doing any sort of actual maneuvering or, um, you know, trying to be um, precise with your movements, this ship is not going to do that. Um, this definitely seems more like the type of ship that, uh, like I said, would maybe post up near uh, a capital ship of uh, importance, maybe try listening in on their comms, maybe trying to jam their comms, uh, maybe even boost comms, you know, it might be a communications booster, I could see that, given the fact that it has those, uh, like, satellite uh, solar power things, and there we go, made it out, but barely made it out, um, this thing, again, it has quite the aversion uh, to damage, and I, w I know a lot of ships, you know, they don't want to be hit, but when this one gets hit, it does not take it very well. So let's look, let's see just how bad the damage really is. Luckily, it looks like it's only a couple of scrapes and bumps, but my status indicator uh, would indicate otherwise. It actually seems like we're we're actually in really bad shape. So, um, like I said, the the Herald it is not a fighter in any sense of the term. Um, uh, already, my hull cabin is completely in yellow. I've got one red portion. I think that's one of my wings, or or actually, I think that might be one of the. Uh, satellite pieces. Actually, you know what? I have that satellite piece out. Maybe that's what was hindering. Let's try, uh, let's try closing that. I feel like this is going to be the last, um, action that I, <laughs> I initiate in the Herald, but Hello screw it. Your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. Make it so. And that's why I love the AI. Thank you. Thank you. And she doesn't hear me. All right. Well, let's just see. Uh, I, again, I'm not going to uh, make it very far, especially with another 350R. In fact, I bet you only after a couple of hits, I'm probably going to go with floaties. If I can actually hit it. Oh yeah, I'm in red. See, it does not take...
very much. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my goodness. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, and like I said, I have bit in the dust. Um, so, yeah, really, aside from what its intended role is going to be, whatever that um, is, whatever info running actually uh, evolves into uh, or becomes, uh, and racing. Those are really the only two things I can see, and even racing is a bit of a stretch. Uh, you know, if you're doing drag racing, oh yeah, you're good. Nothing is going to stand up or stand against the Herald. Um, but if you're doing something like the classic race in Arena Commander, you might place, but it won't be first. Um, so I think I'm actually going to leave the video here. Uh, this is my effort, trying to make the videos not ridiculously long. I feel like I've kind of outlined everything that I can about the Herald, and um, hopefully it was within a decent time amount. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. Uh, if you think I should do more, or I could have done better, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see something similar, if you want to see something different, also, leave it down in the comments. I read every single one of the comments that come up. Uh, again, apologies if it takes me a little bit to get back to you. YouTube is not uh, displaying my notifications properly. The other day, I had like six or seven comments, new comments on a video, and it didn't even tell me about a single one of them. So, just hang in there. I will get to your comment eventually. Um... So, thank you for watching. This has been Will. All you beautiful bastards have a wonderful day. And last but not least, peace.